Richard is taking us to Buffalo, New York, Seneca, New York to be exact, right outside of Buffalo. Uh, we're going to be picking up there and it's a short drive over to, let's see where we're going, somewhere in Ohio. We're going to Washington Citrus Heights, Ohio. I'll say that five times real fast. Uh, so anyways, it's about... Six hundred and eighteen miles total. And that was including the deadhead miles coming from Johnstown into Buffalo, which is about a little over two hundred and fifty miles. Uh, so a lot of deadhead miles for a six hundred and eighteen mile trip. Uh, but that's fine. I get paid for all the miles, so no big deal. Felt like a uh, uh, what do you call it? A, a Jedi. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I just got done with my pre-trip. Everything looks good. It got pretty cold last night. It's actually 28 degrees right now here in Little Falls, New York. <clears throat> Definitely dropped a lot in temperature. The winds died down a little, but it's still really breezy. Uh, so I feel confident in driving. We're good. Last night, man, it got pretty pretty dicey. I mean, it was... I don't know how, how strong the winds are, and I don't know if that's common for this area, but it was, it was pretty strong. Uh, I'm glad I stopped when I did because I, I didn't feel comfortable driving. That's how strong the wind was. It was pretty bad. Uh, so anyways, uh, it's 4.30 in the morning, almost 4.45, uh, which I, I had planned to leave by 5, so I'm definitely ahead of schedule. Uh, I'm going to take my time getting there. I've given myself plenty of time. I want to get my uh, miles per gallon. Uh, let's see where we're at right now. So, miles per gallon. She can see it. It's kind of blurry. So, anyways, my miles per gallon right now are 9.6. Uh, that's with 361 miles driven since I've filled up the tank. So I definitely want to try and get it a little higher. I mean, 9.6 is good, okay? Might not sound good for, you know, normal cars. You know, the St. No Prius. You know, I'm not going to get anything over... I'm not going to get anything over, you know, 10.5 on a consistent basis. I've had it up to like 11 miles per gallon, but that's, you know, empty with... No driving obstacles, no winds, no hills, long distance driving. Like on the five, for example, in California, you got a good stretch there. Um, you know, but that's very small compared to how far we drive. You know, you could drive from, uh, just say, Fresno, maybe Modesto, Modesto, California, all the way down to Bakersfield, California. This is probably as flat as you can get in California without having big any big hills to deal with. Um, and that's probably what, maybe 300 miles or less. So, yeah, we definitely drive more than 300 miles a day, right? All right, guys, so I'm going to get going here. I got my coffee, got my cold brew coffee, got my uh, my little breakfast bar. And it looks pretty clear. It's going to be a good drive. I got about a three hour drive to get to Buffalo. I've given myself uh, four and a half hours to get there, just in case there's wind. You know, I don't know. If, I don't know. I don't know the Northeast. I'm not familiar with the Northeast at all. Um, so I don't know if there's gonna be any kind of traffic, that kind of stuff. So, all right, here we go.
Coast. I'm here in uh, Seneca, New York, just outside of Buffalo. It's now 30 degrees, so it warmed up a little. It's amazing. Yesterday I had my windows rolled down. It was nice and, you know, not hot, but it was a nice and nice cool weather. Enough to have the window rolled down. Now it's freezing. Less than 24 hours later. This is not windy anymore. That wind last night was terrible. We've got a door number. Let's get, get ready for this. Once this guy leaves, we're gonna pull into his door. Uh, we wanna look for door number one. We're gonna back up to door one. This is door five over here. in there as you just saw no lights on this dock so I'm assuming they just come out with the paperwork once uh, once they're done so I just confirmed with my dispatch that this load which is going to Ohio it's about a six I'm gonna give it seven hours I'm gonna give myself seven hours to get there um, it's actually my order said um, I don't spot the trailer which means it's uh, they have to live unload it and have to wait but when I message my dispatch to confirm what time is my appointment tomorrow because it gave an all-day time frame which at Walmart you can't do that usually uh, he messaged me back and said yeah no it's a it's a drop-in hook which is great 
which means I have basically as much time as I want to get there. It's a seven hour drive from here now. I got plenty of time on my clock, so now I gotta kind of play with my time and see what do I wanna do. Do I wanna get halfway there, get the rest in the morning, sleep good tonight? Do I wanna just get it all done tonight, get there and drop it off at midnight, and then let my time reset for the morning? Decisions, decisions. Gotta be my own boss out here sometimes. Uh, and I just wanna say real quick, uh, I was corrected by one of my subscribers. Uh, it is not called a turnpike in New York. <laughs> it's called a, I think it's called a through, a throughway, throughway. Robert, I think you, I think, I think it was Robert. Thanks, Robert, for pointing that out to me. Uh, yeah, no, no offense to anybody in the Northeast anywhere. Uh, if I don't know exactly where your state's at or where I'm at in your state or anything about your state or what things are called, yeah, I'm from California and I, I've only been to New York. You know, I could count on one hand how many times I've been there. Uh, New York City, I've only been there once ever so yeah i'm really not that familiar with this area so i apologize for that um i'm sure you don't really take offense to it but i do appreciate you calling me out on it uh i'm learning it's an adventure and i'm learning out here so thank you all right once uh i'm done loaded which as you can tell my truck's rocking they're probably halfway done already i'm gonna get on the road and keep you all updated all right taking a quick break and fuel stop here right back into Erie, Pennsylvania. It's eerie how familiar this place looks. So anyways, putting some fuel. Well, I just put fuel. I fill it up. My fuel, my DEF, and my uh, my trailer. So we still have about, I'm going to give myself about five hours to get to, um, it's actually Washington Courthouse, Ohio. I thought it was Citrus Heights, but it's Courthouse, Ohio. It's the word, it's just the way it was abbreviated. It looked like it was Citrus Heights, but it's Courthouse, Ohio. Uh, so I think I'm gonna try and get at least two hours to three hours down the road. I got plenty of time to get there. It's not due until midnight, and it's a drop and hook. So it's, good. it's due midnight tonight, all the way through 11.59 p.m. tomorrow. So I have all day to tomorrow to drop it off. Obviously, I want to drop it off as soon as possible because uh, the sooner I drop it off, the sooner I get my next load. Uh, but I also don't want to drive overnight. Uh, you know, I like starting my day early in the morning. I don't like driving in the late evening or late at night. So I. Uh... <clears throat> so yeah, I'll uh, get down the road here stop and then I will continue early in the morning to drop it off and hopefully they give me a pre-plan on the way. So yeah, I'm gonna just take a quick break, eat some food real quick. I'll even have to take a full 30 minute break. I got plenty of time. So I'm just gonna eat, kind of relax here for a minute, re get re-energized. Thank you. So I've had a few people comment my last video, my last video, the video before, that uh, when I was going through Cleveland, Ohio, I didn't film the uh, the Dead Man's Curve, which is right past the uh, Indians baseball stadium. Which, by the way, I also got a lot of heat for not knowing it was the Indians. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I did record it, actually. I did record the... Uh, Dead Man's Turn, and I might I might just insert it right here so you guys can see it. Um, so, here it is. I'll show it right now. If I don't show it right now, that's because I'm going to pass it coming back this way again. I just entered Ohio. I'm going to pass Cleveland again. So, if I go through Dead Man's Curve going in, into Cleveland, because I'm not sure if I will again, uh, I will show it now. If not, then I will show you from the previous recording.
was cor corrected once again. Uh, in my last video, I pronounced it Sunco, which was a fuel company at the uh, the rest stop when I was trying to get the that calzone. Well, it's not pronounced Sunco. It's pr pronounced Sunoco, Sun Oil Company. So I, I stand corrected. I uh, I read the sign too fast apparently. All right, I have shut down for the night here in Burbank, Ohio. Just gonna make a sandwich, eat some food real quick, and go to bed. Uh, so that's gonna do it for today. I appreciate you guys following along and hope you enjoyed this little trip of mine. I am still on my way to Ohio, Washington, Washington Courthouse, Washington Courthouse, Ohio. <laughs> that's where I'm going. <clears throat> so. Uh, all day tomorrow is my appointment time from midnight tonight all the way through basically midnight tomorrow So I'm gonna wake up really early in the morning and get us down there. So I will pick up this journey then Hey, thanks again for watching you guys if you're new here, please subscribe and go back and check my other videos share my videos Gotta get this uh, Subscriber count up, you know, we're doing really good. So let's keep going. All right guys. See you down the road